hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so this is part 15 of our laravel for beginners tutorial and in this video we're going to add or we're going to discuss the modal relationships so in the pre previous video we've worked with the user id so we're, we added the user id to our database and the uh, i think it's from the post so we've added our user underscore ID by using the migration. And in this uh, video, we're going to add the relationship, uh, relationship to this user ID uh, to the actual user's ID here in, in this table. So that will enable us to only limit the blogs or the posts that are belonging to a certain user. So, so for example, when we try to uh, view the post, so we all want or what we want is to only display the posts that are created by the login user in order for us to do that let's go back to our code editor and try to add the model in our um, models okay so let's open up our post model so all we have to do here is to add a certain function so it is it is very simple to add relationships in laravel so as i've said all we have to do is add a function here so, so for example public function and then user and then return this and then belongs to the app and then backslash user and the same thing with our user model let's add a function here so public function and then post and then this should return has many relationship because a user can have many posts right so the user can post uh, like thousands or hundreds of posts and let's go ahead open up our dashboard controller or home controller because that's where we were trying to display the post so in here we just need to get the user id by using the oath and then user function and then supply the id or i think it's not like that one instead of using it as parameter so user id equals oath and then user and then the id attribute and then let's find the user find and then user id and then we need to pass in this user post into the home so that's with and then post so it means that this post or this post are belonging to this particular uh, particular user so post and then comma then user post okay so if we go to the home um, home view so resources and then views and then home so after lagging in or after the user uh, lag in so we need to display a table here that display or that will display all the posts belonging to the login user so that's table and then class is table table stripe and then we're just going to define the headers or header for our table so that's th and then 
title each and we're just going to add two other th here for our edit and delete button so th this is going to be just empty because this is going to be populated with id or i mean the edit and button um edit and delete button so that's th so in here so I think we just need to check if the actual post at if and then count the post. So if it is greater than zero, then we need to display the table, right? Table and here we need to add the else and of course we need to say if the count of post is not greater than zero then we have to say you have no post you have no post and then and our if statement and if and of course in here we also need to populate the table rows so the title should be getting the title from the post so it's post and then the title of our, po of our post so there you go and then in here we just need to add the edit button first so href and then the uh, href is post and then slash the post id so that's basically post and then the id and then we're just going to say slash edit and So just let's just add a class for this so class btn btn default default and then this should say edit so let's try that uh, refresh our page so let's go back to the home page refresh and then we need to log in so I think we forgot the user um, password let's try logging in so tom at gmail dot com and then the password so log in we're just going to wait for a few seconds just to allow the login so we have an error user not found in our home controller because I think we need to add that um, which one so home controller 27 home controller there you go so we need to add here the um, class so that's app and then backslash user okay let's try that save and refresh app user constant okay so I think we need to to remove the single code for that to work and then refresh undefined variable post in home that blade that PHP so let's try to solve that home blade that PHP so it says here that we don't have access to the post or the actual post okay so I think we need to iterate first in here to actually have the individual post so that's for each 
and then the post variable as single post and then let's just add the end of our for each here for each here you go so save and then refresh so we have here the new and updated uh, view of our post so we can see the title which is post one post two and certain title of a post so let's try to add a new user so log in and then user2 or make sure let's just say um, Tim Tim saw and then team at gmail.com and then the password let's just apply a certain password okay and then register so as you can see the home or the location home it says you have no post because we just want the post to show if the certain user uh, log in and then he has a or he has post so it should be displayed here but in case of our new user team so he has no post so let's try to add a new post first post of team saw the body the body of the post of team saw and then submit so uh, this page displays all the posts but if you try to go to the project location and then home it only displays the first post or the single post of our new user team saw so in the next video we're going to discuss how to actually have the access control for this because we don't want uh, the guest to actually create post and we just want the user to actually see his own post so see you in the next video thanks